Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. So I am 60 now, and I have presbyopia, which is to say I have difficulty focusing up close and need reading glasses. It would be great if I could find a way where I don't need these. We interviewed Dr. Sandra Kaufman, and one of the topics that we discussed with her was supplements for aging eyes. Her suggestion was NAC eye drops to help with the effects of presbyopia. We've decided to try this and have been trying eye drops from the brand that she recommended, which is Efficel. In this video, we wanted to share our experience and future plans to test whether it helps to improve our eyesight. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing our personal experience and updates. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. First, why do we get presbyopia as we age? When we focus in the distance, the ciliary muscles in our eyes relax, which pulls the lens and makes it thinner so it deflects the light less and has a longer focus. To focus up close, the ciliary muscles contract and the lens naturally pulls in to a more rounded shape, which focuses the light more tightly at a shorter distance. However, this process does not work so well as we get older. It has been shown that the lens becomes stiffer with age although the molecular basis for this is not clearly understood. It may be because the internal structure of the lens becomes more connected. And also because glutathione cannot get into the lens and the redox environment deteriorates, leading to cross-linking of proteins. So it may be the lens which is getting stiffer, but if we consider other elements which may cause this issue, the ciliary muscles would also be a candidate. However, it is generally accepted that the muscles retain the required ability to contract. This would imply that indeed the stiffening of the lens is the cause. Let's hear what Dr. Kaufman had to say on the subject of aging eyes. Do you have particular kind of uh, protocols for to support aging eyes? So eyes are really interesting. I love, I am not an ophthalmologist at all, but I, but I am sort of like in, in, intrigued by the eyeball. And so I know it's just really, it's just amazing <laughs> structure, right? I mean, it sounds kind of pathologic, but I, I love this, right? So as you age, several things fall apart. Number one, most importantly that everyone sees is presbyopia, which is the inability to focus up close, right? And that has to do with glycation or stiffness of the lens, right? Yeah. The lens is really interesting because you try to block radiation out of every other part of your body. We cover ourselves in sunscreen, we, you know, but the lens is attracting it. So there's a heck of a lot of free radical damage in the lens. And because there's not a whole lot of blood flow, there's not a whole lot of endogenous free radical scavengers. On top of that, it gets horribly glycated. So your, your lens is just a sit and duck. So what's amazing about this is everyone gets presbyopia roughly the same time, right? Pretty much everyone in their mid forties pulls out their reading glasses in a restaurant. I know you've probably been out to dinner. Everyone passes their glasses around. It's kind of, kind of ridiculously pathetic, but they do. Right. But what's interesting is so if presbyopia is your only problem, carnosine eye drops are amazing. So it's, it's the same thing that you would orally take, but it comes in an eye drop. Um, I've been using them now for a decade and my up close vision is perfect. Wow. It might not be true, but it should be true. Uh, there's a, a fabulous Russian study. They gave these eye drops to, I don't know, half a million people and their, 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 their vision got significantly better. So it's truly amazing. And it also reduces the risk of cataract. But they actually give these eye drops to dogs to cure cataracts. Like Lord forbid we ever said to a human, we could cure your cataract because then the ophthalmology people would go out of business because they wouldn't you know, be able to charge $5,000 to take out your cataract and put an implant. That being said, this will reduce the risk of cataracts. I mean, will it get rid of it completely? Probably not, but it will prevent a lot of this stuff. The trial was not for old sight, and it was also run by an organization which sells NAC eye drops. But it did seem hopeful, and as they seem to have no bad side effects, based on Dr. Kaufman's recommendation, we decided to give NAC eye drops a try. We started with the eye drops using Efficel NAC drops that I mentioned earlier in the video. 
We started on the 11th of January and we have one drop twice a day in the morning and in the evening. In terms of testing to see if the treatment is effective, we looked at this, the near vision test. I have downloaded a copy and I am planning to develop a randomized version. It should be held at 16 inches, which is about 40 centimeters from the eye for the test. I tried this and currently my score is 2040, while that of Mrs. Modern is 2030. We will report on progress in April at the three month mark, but in the meantime, we'll test more frequently than that and let you know of any improvements if we see any. For me, having to wear glasses to read and then being unable to see at a distance is something that I would like to fix. So I'm hoping for a good outcome for our trial. Cataracts are also very common in older adults. And if the eye drops can help us avoid those, it will definitely be an added bonus.